Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part 3 and potentially the ending of Little Miss Fortune. In the previous video, we went to the zoo with Little Miss Fortune, we also went to the amusement park. We found out a little bit about her backstory, and also we've been chasing this fox called Benjamin, who stole her eternal happiness. And the narrator, this mysterious voice, has led us across a river and to this weird sort of island full of woodland by the look of it we can see on the screen here it looks like we're lost in the woods it seems like we've gone to this new land where we're going to be trying to find benjamin and take back our eternal happiness so with that said guys i'm just going to dive in we're going to see where little misfortune ends and uh, in the coming days i should put together a story explained video showing you all the different endings to the game explaining the story and all the other stuff that we usually do on the channel but for now we're just going to finish it up so sit back relax and let's finish up little misfortune so here we are at the riverside once again, the ominous music playing, very creepy music. Let's get going. See where our adventure goes next. Ooh. Is this where all the missing children are? Because look at all these toys. I think this is where the voice leads all the missing children, right? Let's have a look. <gasps> Check that out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. Can I make it sparkly and happy? time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. It's coming. What's he talking about? I don't know whether to trust the voice. I've said this before. I don't know if the voice is leading us astray. There's the alien kid. Hero, yeah. The kid with the alien mask from Japan. Oh man, this is getting spooky. Let's cross over. We should just turn back, right? <laughs> just get back on the boat and sail back to the uh, amusement park. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Check this out, Stony. This is your family, see? from the woods. Say hello. And now, say bye-bye, baby Stony, because we're leaving. <laughs> I love where she talks in this game. It's so funny. Oh Alright. Oh no! Fell over. Oh, damn it. My little foot got stuck. That's not good. Especially when he said something's coming. Something's arrived. We've got to run. Mr. Voice, can you see? Can you see it? <gasps> Oh, what do we have to do? Oh, we have to hit the space bar. Quick! Leave me alone! Now run. Ooh, that was close. Okay, we made it, we made it. Oh, 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 misfortune. <laughs> Slow down. What are you running away from? Is it the fox? See, this voice is bad. I'm pretty sure it was the fox. No, it's the monster. I saw it again. He's bad news. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. <laughs> There's the fox. Oh no! Is he gonna help us? Any sudden moves. Play dead, get up. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up and speak to the fox. I don't trust the voice. Uh, your boss. So sad. I trust the fox, not the voice. Don't touch her with your filthy paws, you beast. Stop okay. It. You're scaring him away. Let's go and follow the fox. Oh no, scared him oh away again. Benjamin. Okay, let's go. I feel like that was a very, very close call we had back there. Please, Miss Fortune, <laughs> stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me, he's dangerous. <laughs> stop running, please. I'm going to keep running after Benjamin. I don't trust his voice one little bit. Although she's looking a bit worse for wear. Oh no! Don't run into that! Ooh. What's this? Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. Uh -huh. I know I could have been more specific like there's a bear trap. Yeah, ahead. you could have just Stop said what it was. <laughs> hurt, but I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay. Thank you. Who left a bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, 
but it was obviously the fox. Also, I don't like the fox. Yeah, you said that. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. Look, there's another one of your stone sort of totems. Oh, we can make it sparkly. Yay. <laughs> now let's see. Look, it's repairing her heart. Every time we do this, it's making her heart whole again, which is interesting. But yeah, let's interact with this. Let's see what this one says. Uh, we need to put the stone in there. Here we go. It's stuck. Huh. Now we can read the text. The elimination of Prime Me will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really? Interesting. I remember all these names like Prime Eve and stuff from Frambo. They were parts of a different seven universes. Anyway, let's take the it's stuck. eye back. Huh. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, no. Okay, so we gotta leave it there. I guess that was for final one. Oh, we've got a doll here, though. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Hmm, interesting. What are you doing? Nothing. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what's next. So, Miss Fortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic? Um. Yeah, God, man, we'll say yes. Yes, yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink juice and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Moving on, second question. Do you trust me? No, definitely, 100% not. I, should, I don't know if I should say that to him, but I'm just going to say no, I don't trust him. Nah, you're just a voice in my head. Mommy talks to herself a lot too. She says it's her inner demons and that they just keep them away. I'm sorry to hear that. Hi, are you my inner demon? Me? A demon? <laughs> no. Nah, you can't be a demon. Not with the silly voice. <laughs> well, anyway, now for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? Yeah, I think everybody's a little bit afraid of death, right? Or well, most people are. I'm going to say yes. Yes, I am. I don't know if I will like being dead. It's like too mysterious, you know? What if I can't bring my glitter? Well, I... I love how that's like... Out. Her main die. focus is she won't be able to bring her glitter. Looks like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know. But here's a cabin. Hey, look at that. I think we're here. Benjamin! Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure that Fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. All right. Thing is, we saw a newspaper article earlier about a cabin that was set on fire, and I thought it was the cabin we'd already been to with the, uh, the dead boy in it, but it could actually be this one, and maybe we're being led to our demise. Ah, oh, it looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> Right, let's go inside. See if Benjamin's at home. Be brave, Miss Fortune. Okay, I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share the prize with us and everything will be fine. Okay, here we go. Is We've got a coat. Benjamin's? He got some sweet style. I like it. Little hat there. We've got a little games console over here and a TV. Oh, a video player. Fun soon. Is there anything we can watch? Some home movies. Oh, it says In Woods. So let's play that. Let's see. Benjamin's on TV. <laughs> there we go. It says 1993 on the TV again, see? Oh, 
I broke Benjamin's tape. It's definitely set in 1993, this game. Uh, or at least some aspect of it, because that's the second time we've seen that date now. Maybe I can fix it. Oh yeah, let's throw our sprinkles on it. Happiness to the video player! <laughs> Sweet. Um, what about this book? Let's have a look at ah, that. What a cozy couch. Is that Benjamin's diary? Read Benjamin's diary or respect Benjamin's privacy. Meh, nah, privacy is overrated. We want to find out what's going on in the story. Let's read it. I wouldn't do this in real life, guys. <laughs> but it's a game, a right? Okay, so by Benjamin Juan Juanlis? Red Fox? I've probably butchered that name. By Benjamin Juanlis? Red Fox. I knew his name was Benjamin. There you go, she's much better at pronouncing, uh, I think that's like a Spanish name, uh, than I am. So Benjamin's not from open fields? I bet he has an accent. I love that in a fox. Okay, let me read this. Um, it says, I must make dangerous mission. Mission must be done. Is what I train to make nervous, but is okay. I have study and bigger confidence. I travel from Senecidi to Pandora when fog appears. There we go, some more of the dimensions from Frambova. I pack things and food. No information on how long I stay. I rent cabin until work is done. My task is important. The boss told me many victims in town. I need courage. So he was traveling to Pandora. Pandora was the human realm as I remember it from Frambo. After a long walk in the fog, I arrive in a city called Open Fields. Tiny town has a good forest. Cabin is very nice, has a TV, kitchen, and I sleep on the sofa. I decorate the cabin. Fish balls smell funny. Eight mushrooms in woods. I refresh after sleep. I try to find a parasite, did not find it. Day one failed. Parasite, you say? So she's looking for a parasite, which is strange. Uh, got a weird picture there of him holding like children in his hand by the look of it And it says many victims have gone missing in parasite game. I can't help feel sad I send message to boss some victims not coming to Senecidi. I see parasite. It scared me Also not eat more mushrooms stomach ache and much gas. It's not good. Don't eat the mushrooms again So it seems like he's taking victims over to Senecidi, which is obviously the realm of a of the dead, I think, as I remember it. Who are the victims? What game? And he's afraid of the parasite? I don't know if a parasite is maybe this narrator character, and obviously the victims would be the missing children. Mushrooms, serious danger. Not feel good. Danger mushroom. I stay home, cut wood and do tea and root soup. Good taste. I do dolls for victim and pictures. If she sees them good. So he's the one that's been leaving the dolls behind for us. Parasite recognized Morgo code P0101222. It likes to play. I has guide for steps. Courage tomorrow. Now rest until stomach good. Oh, poor Benji. Hmm. So he got a bad stomach ache. And there we go. That's the kind of creepy thing. It's called Morgo. Now this may be the narrator thing. I'm not sure. Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. I go help missing victims in town. Morgo knows I'm here. Morgo plays old trick many times now, but it makes a mistake. One victim can hear. It's the voice inside her head. Yes, Morgo seems to be this uh, narrator that's been talking to us. I knew we shouldn't trust him. Victim code, misfortune. Yes, the little girl's us, obviously. It's nice code. Morgo can't have her say boss, she must be rescued, but I follow the steps. I saw Morgo take shape. Scary. Hmm. Missing? A voice? It's the monster! Boss sent me a message. Watch victim's house. I sleep outside the house. So this is where, obviously, Little Misfortune met Benjamin because he was watching over her. Hide in the trash. I fail to find the parasites. It did not come today. Big trouble, misfortune, watch me. Strange. Why did she see me? She has big eyes. I run away. Felt warm in my stomach. Maybe mushrooms tickle again. 
I think he's just happy that she likes him, right? Big trouble? Misfortune? But that's me. I bet he's in love with me. So this is all the children going to Senecidi, which is like their afterlife. I see Morgo play the old trick again. Victims don't realise again. All is again. Must courage and stop parasite this time. It's really hard to read this because it's all like sort of simplified text. I send many victims to Senecidi. I got level 2 protector. I confident. Now I have the primeve illumination cane. All is again? Oh, shake up and your stick. I try primeve illumination cane in the woods. It's fun. I feel courage, practicing to help misfortune. I see she makes too much talk. I think she's fun and strong. Morgo confused by charms of misfortune. I did video picking wood and parasite cane, but I'm courage now. I scared only little. Hmm, yes, I know how to talk. He loves me. Okay, so this is the last page now. I message boss, I'm doing it today. All steps have been followed. Prepared breakfast tea, funny feeling with tea, herbs from woods are fun. I'm courage and confident today. I'm ready. So he's ready to do his mission today. If Benji has a boss, he has a job. Then I can be married to him. I'm wondering if his boss is that Itward character because obviously he lives in Senecidi as I remember and um, he was the person that watches over children. So, well, he was in Fran Bo at least, and he's de are definitely connected in some way. Either way, let's get back to the game. That's an interesting read. Oh, did we... I think we glittered this. I'm going to glitter it anyway, just to make sure. Let's keep exploring. We've got some stuff on the shelf. Looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> So these books say death after life, learning how to be grey, communication is key to cooperation, the upside of being a spirit animal, the fun stories of a boring man, when hatred wants to be loved, and the meaning of love. And there we go, put some music on on the uh, iPod or whatever it is. Well it wouldn't be an iPod in 1993 would it? That tea smells like roses and lemon. I bet it's called Benjamin's Blend. Because I can almost smell his boss blending the ingredients. Maybe I should try it out. Apparently when you drink the tea, I think it's got like some herbs in it that make you a little bit high. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take it because Benjamin has been drinking it, right? It definitely tastes like his fluffy paws. Mmm, delicious. Oh. Ugh, I feel weird. Maybe we shouldn't have drunk it. Oh no, this looks fine. There you go. This is lovely. Even if it's not real. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> it's getting weirder now. It's getting too intense. Look at that, they're happy. This... Oh! I was going to say, if that was the end, that would have been a happy ending, but it's not, of course. Uh, Benjamin? Peanut butter? What? Oh... Uh... We're back in the room. She's thrown up again. Oh, look, look, there's a little picture that. here. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> right, let's keep going. Let's see what's in the kitchen. Oh, here's Benjamin. <gasps> Benjamin! I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Ooh. I don't know why he keeps running away. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry. You can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is that? Your diary. I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Is it the monster in your diary you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. 
Yeah, he's showing us that the narrator character is that monster, isn't he? Or he's, that's what he's trying to tell us, I think. Oh! You can't hide the children. Yeah, here he is. Let's run. Follow Benjamin. Yeah, I'm definitely following Benjamin. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? Just go. Don't worry about that. Just run. And down we go. Oh, that monster's coming for us now. Hopefully we get to follow Benjamin from now on and Benjamin, not that voice. Where do you go? Right, this is weird. Imagine if Benjamin actually is a bad guy now, though, after all that. Oh no, is this Benjamin? Hmm. Let's uh, check out this little piece of... It looks like a door, to be honest. Yeah, it is a There's door. There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? Hello? Let's go through it. I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. We can't reach that. Well, let's get the stool, then. Uh-huh. Such a clever little lady. Push that over to the door. And I'm for sure she could have just pulled herself up to that, Time but never to mind. Use my ninja skills. Here we go. Through, through we go. <laughs> Shh! What a bad crack. <laughs> so weird. Why is Be that happening? Be quiet. This is a ninja mission. <laughs> so Benjamin, random. Are you here? All right, let's go. It looks like a torture room or something. So it was Benjamin placing these. But Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Yeah, like maybe he's laid them down for the monster. I'm gonna believe that for now. I don't want to believe that he's evil after all this. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. Look, we've got something here that we can go through. I'm gonna have a look over this way first though. Hmm, a picture of a key. Interesting. It looks like that's the door as well. Is there any way we can get up to it? My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Yeah, it's a door. Okay, let's access it. Hmm. A real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> a secret button. Push the button, yes. Always. Always push the button. Alright then. I push the button. Looks like it's opening the vault. Probably can go through and hopefully meet Benjamin then. I don't know if I trust this. Looks like it leads back out into the woods. That so easy. it might not be that safe, but all right, time to let's, find Benjamin. You know, we've got to, we've got to oh. get to the end. Oh, oh, that was unfortunate. I yeah, that looked like it hurt. Better. When I got the eternal happiness. Literally just whacked her chin off the chair and the table. Let's finish this. Let's get up. Get up, Miss Fortune. You are stronger than you think. You gotta keep smashing that button. Sorry if this is noisy for you guys. You've been knocked down before. Here we go. Did you let that stop you? This is a lot of button mashing. Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. Come on, last one now, right? Because. <laughs> because. Because. You're a little lady? You are the little lady, yeah, Miss there we Fortune. Go. That's like a little catchphrase, isn't it? Alright, let's go. Off into the woods once again. Okay. Oh, a little I'm deer. Up again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. I wouldn't be calling out for Mr. Voice again. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Mm, dream come true. Aww. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> we throw sprinkles on it? No. But at least she got to pet something, finally. Oh no, look, we've got... Is that Benjamin's bag? Yeah, Benjamin? the bag. Are you around? 
He must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Screw you, voice. There you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Who cares? Mr. Voice, please stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time and that's very sucky. I knew I couldn't trust you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children. And I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. He's gonna do something bad. No. Stop that. Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Why did we no, come all the way out here if it was at home the whole what time? What did you do to him? Freaking monster. Okay, can we sparkle this? There you go, it's all fixed. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. All right, let's have a look. So we've got a piece of paper. So this is UST for students of the University of Senecidi Technology. Protect a course, three step guide, a three step guide to exterminate parasitic beings from the beyond. Introduction. As the ultra reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside the constituted free five realms of essential existence have appeared. After the ultra war, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm. We refer to it as the beyond. The beyond is, in simple terms, a place of extreme absurdity with no logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside for free at the moment since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the ultra reality before the ultra war. The beyond is still a misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect with it in a logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. So this seems like the, you know, the creepy voice we've been listening to. And that's why we need the protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims and to guide them into Senecidi. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to Senecidi. The protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step 1. The protector must locate the victims and the parasites. Protector's parasite case uh, is Morgo. Evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step 2. Need of assistance checklist. Okay, so these are the things that they need to, you know, make sure the victim has fallen foul of uh, in order to help them. The victim seems they have forgotten his or her identity. The victim is already dead but doesn't realise it. The victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. The victim sympathises with the parasite. So these are things, it seems like, does this, is this saying that she's already dead? The parasite. Checklist of parasites. One deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. Three, it shapeshifts into a human animal like creature. Four, it learns about the environment, language, and culture are not an issue for this parasite. Five, large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playing ground. So, all of this has been happening. Now step two, use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It could lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. 
If a parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step 3 immediately. Paint? I like to paint. Step 3. Prepare for direct contact with... It's all torn off. With the what? Now I will never know. Oh, that's just too inconvenient, isn't it? So we've got another one of the dolls as well. Let's check that out. At the end of the road, you will realise you already signed the deal. Hmm. I don't know what that means. And now... Finally... Oh, picture of Benjamin when he was a little baby fox, a little fox cub, listening to his music. Is that Benjamin as a baby? Oh, so cute. Okay, let's close that up. I think that's everything, so uh, let's head back. And keep going. Through the forest. We're heading back home by the look of it. Ooh, what's happening now? Is this more go? Oh no, there's Benjamin. That's weird. So he kind of forgot. Maybe he just remembered he'd left it there. Alright, I guess I'll take the train back home. Maybe he left it there on purpose actually, so she would read it and get the information from the bag. Because he can't interact with her directly. Either way, we're going back home by the look of it, so let's head on through. There's another one of those uh, weird sketches from Benjamin. Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. <laughs> let's keep going. So it looks like we just sit here and wait for the train. Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. <laughs> she literally is talking to herself. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> she basically just recaps the story for his fair. Okay, it's time to board the train and head back to the house. There's Hero again, the ghost child. Oh wait, do we get to color? Here we go. Let's see how good I can, how well I can color, I should say. I mean, this is kind of hard to do with the keys on the uh, keyboard, I'm not going to lie. But I'll try my best. I'll try and get the green of the dinosaur all coloured nice and neatly. Look at this. Oh no. Oops. Oops. I just exited uh, out of it. I don't feel inspired. I wanted to colour that in. I pressed X by accident. Uh. Oh. Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognise you. <laughs> Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Have you ever heard voices in your head? Beware of the know, consequences. Oh no! It's He's been taken. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna help Hero. It does say beware of the consequences though. So maybe this was a bad thing to do. We could have covered our eyes. I don't know which is the uh, the right move there. I just wanted to help our friend, you know, even though he's a ghost. But wait! The um the, didn't the diary say that the monster can make us see illusions and hallucinations that aren't really there? So it could be that like that wasn't actually happening and we shouldn't have reached out to connect with it. I hope 
hope I get to see Hiro again. I wonder what the monster did to him. The monster might have wanted us to do that. Now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Uh... I don't know if he would. He's been like running away from us the entire time. This kind of looks a bit... I don't know. Are these guys going to attack us? Hopefully not. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well, if that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. <laughs> Just ignored her. But then this begs the question, is she a ghost? Is she not alive? I don't know. Here's the road again. We're almost home. Now, let's look both ways before we cross it. Okay, we made it across the road. Look at uh, all the birds. Where's the car? Is Daddy gone again? This looks a bit sinister, guys. I'm kind of nervous. There's a red light above our house. This isn't good. Guess we head on inside, though, and see what's going on. We got red lights. I like them. I don't know if that's a good thing. Mommy, Looks like nobody's I'm lived back. here for ages. Hello? It's like... Can we check in the What's fridge? That sound? Benji? Can't check in the fridge, we've got to go forward. I'm nervous guys, I'm nervous what's happening now. Look at how creepy it is in here. It's like... Just an absolute dilapidated building now. It's like nobody's lived here for months. Hello? Mommy? Benji? What happened here? Congratulations. You reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I didn't believe it was. I don't was. even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I guess you're right. Good. Good. Ready for a new game? If I play along, will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will. But only if you truly commit He's to struggling the game. to keep the okay. facade up Splendid. of being this nice you voice. Love my new game. What is the new game? It's gone back to the start. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait. Stop talking. This is please. trippy. Are we going to play another game or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal and I say yes. Stop ruining this. Uh, eternal happiness? No deal. Wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic. Ready to... Wait. What? No deal. No. No. How about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure. I don't trust him at all. You know the way. No, we don't trust this voice character anymore. Look at all the birds outside. Were there that many birds before? I wonder if we go if under the beds. If voice scares me again, I'm gonna run and hide in here. Okay, so we can't go into the bed again. Can we play anything on the stereo? Huh, is this a new dance song? It's a more distorted version. Everything sounds kind of distorted and weird, doesn't it? Everything's creepier. Yeah, this is weird. Let's get out of here. Okay, I'm just gonna play this game one last time. So, it looks the same as before. Hold shift to run. 
Yeah, that breaks. Just like before. Oh no, not again. You promised he wouldn't be like last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. I don't like the sounds of this, guys. New game. Knock, knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're scaring me. Stop it. Leave me alone. Knock, knock. knock who's there? Man, do we answer the door? I guess we should, right? Can I do anything? Can I escape? Back into the bedroom. Under the bed. What happened here? My secret spot. He won't find me in there. Yeah, let's hide in the secret spots. This is really creepy and weird now. But let's go into the bed. Let's hide into the bed. Open this door right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, She's got a little me. rock there. Teach me how to be brave. So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time, and his ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh no, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Oh, the cloven hooves. You silly little child. Another toy for my collection. He's like the devil, isn't he? You're mine to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Yay, Benjamin shows up. Is he gonna protect us? Benjamin! <laughs> How did you get here? There's nothing you can do. She belongs to me. Ooh, superpowers. <laughs> it's like Dragon Ball Z or something. <laughs> No. No! Vanquished. Super Saiyan. I don't know what kind of ending we're unlocking here. It seems like a good ending, I don't know. Unless they're all the same up until a certain point. But we, we vanquished the evil, so that's good. She's waking back up. Is everything back to normal now? Benjamin saved me. Benji, are you around? Okay, so we're back in the room. Everything seems normal, everything seems nice. Let's see if there's anything we can do here. I guess I have to rebuild this. I'll make some improvements. But first, I want to find Benjamin. Okay, let's... There's a doll over here, one of those straw dolls. Morgo is coming, open your eyes, he is the voice in your head, driving you mad. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Yeah, call him Morgo. Benjamin, 
Did you go outside? All right, let's go and uh, explore the house. Benjamin, where are you? Hopefully things are a bit happier in the house now. And this time we're not going to run and smash the vase. We're just going to keep walking past it. There we go. Through to the kitchen. We've got that rabbit stew cooking. That's where the mother was cutting up the vegetables earlier. She's gone now. Mommy? Hopefully we can find the mother again. Okay. Can't go that way. Oh, there's the mother and father with their masks on. Oh wait, is that the father? It looks like a policeman Mommy. actually. I'm back. Mommy, don't even know her, <gasps> She's dead, isn't she? Are you angry because I couldn't get the happiness she's been, for you? She's gone missing like the other children. What's happening? Yeah, really? so... She can't reach her mother and the police officer there because... It must be a bad dream. She's dead, isn't she? That's what's happened. She went with Benjamin, so she's probably going to be travelling to the other side, so to speak, to Senesidi. Man. Oh, she got hit by a car. No way. On the road. Did she die right at the start of the game then? It was that whole adventure that we've been on, yeah. Into the afterlife. Oh no. What have I done? <laughs> oh no. That's sad. What the heck? I feel like... Oh, there's Benjamin. Oh, Bengi, you're back. I thought I lost you too. What's this? What, what's happening? He's taking us to Senesidi, right? We need to go? Alright. So basically we resisted the sort of temptation to go with the monster to the beyond and we're going to Senesidi which is where children are meant to go if they die. Bengi, wait. Are you taking me somewhere else? Because I have nothing against it, but I have to talk with my mummy first. Alright, let's uh, speak to the mother. Not mommy, that she can hear us. I'm going to go somewhere else. With Bengi, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while, but you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever. There we go. We said goodbye to the mother. And we can follow Benjamin to Senesidi. He's opening the portal again, like at the start of the game. Nice. Into the beyond. Well, not the beyond. <laughs> but the other side we go. I kind of want to see what it's like on the other side, you know? That could be the end, though. Oh no, we get to see a little bit more. Wait, stop, Benjamin. Where are we going? Benji? Please don't betray us now. That would suck. Let's just follow Benjamin. I'm hoping we meet Itward from Franbo now, because that would have, like, proved my, like, little theory I've had in my head. <gasps> Uh, correct. I'm so happy to see you again. But it connects Wait in that me, way. Because he's meant to be like the guardian of the children. And he also, of course, represents death. And it would be a really cool way to connect the two games. Yeah, there's the little pine cones from Frambo. There's the dog. That's the dog, obviously, we, by the way, we, we killed earlier. If, if it, people didn't realise. I didn't comment on that when he showed up. This music is kind of creepy, though. 
Like, this doesn't sound like happy afterlife music, you know? Like harps and stuff. Oh. Yeah, there's that little thing from Frambo as well. The, um, the thing that kind of roots around in the bodies of the dead. Can't remember its name. If you guys haven't seen my Frambo playthrough, it's uh, on the channel, by the way. I'll leave a link to part one at the end of this video. Ooh. Again, fr from Frambo. This is kind of cool. It's really tying it together. I wonder how much it's going to tie it together. Are we going to see Frambo here? Because she kind of uh, moved over to the other side at the end of that game. It's a long walk we're doing here. Can I catch up to them? There's the Luciferns again from Frambo. I'm going to run, guys. Yes, look, there's its ward. He shows up. So he has shown up now in some form. And this is meant to be his realm, of course, the realm of Senecidi, I, I believe, as far as I remember anyway. Ooh, this place is really cold. Let's keep going. Oh, we ring the bell. Okay. Let's do it. Wait. I don't know if this is going to be... Is this good? We've got one more doll on the other side as well. Wait, they're not... We haven't lit them all up. Did we miss some? Is this for things that we sprinkled with the glitter, maybe? And we've missed two things along the way. Okay, let's read what the doll says. All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Huh, I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Thank you. Okay, do we go in? Let's go through the door. Hopefully we get through okay, you know? Who are you? I'm a little lady. Miss Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Miss Fortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. Okay. A good sign, maybe? I don't know. It's like we've got the sand timer there running out as well. Okay. Is that it? That's the end. I think there must have been more of an ending. We missed two things. I think that's two sparkle points because not all the crystals on the tree lit up. So I think we would have probably got an additional like part of the ending if, um, if we had unlocked those. Which is a shame because we were so close. But yeah, guys, that was really good. I'll probably do a story explained video on this pretty soon. So with that video, I will show all the other endings. So, you know, like, don't worry, you'll actually get to see them at some point. But yeah, that was the end of the game. Obviously, it's pretty clear what the game is about, but it will be interesting to dive into the story in a bit more detail and look at all the different endings soon. I really enjoyed that, actually. I liked that more than Frambo, I think. I did like Frambo a lot. But this one, I really liked the um, art style a little bit more. I liked the voice acting. I thought that was really good. I think also I just really kind of liked the shorter, more compact nature of this game. But both were really good. And I really like the universe that Killmonday Games have created with these two titles. And I think they're working on a third game. So I'll definitely check that out when it drops. But yeah, that was... Little Misfortune, an interesting game for sure, and hopefully you've enjoyed my playthrough of it. If you have, remember to leave it a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will be seeing you on the next one.